Welcome back to Comic-Con 2014, your live continuing coverage. I'm Michael Artsis, thanks so much for joining us and watching on geekbeat.tv, on Planet 5D, on beterrific.com, and also on the Couch TV. Um, also, you can download our app, the Be Terrific app, in the Android and iTunes, and even Kindle store, go to beterrific.com slash app. You can take us on the road, on the go and watch our live and non-live content as well as engage with us. I'm so excited about our next guest here at Comic-Con 2014, just like me, she's a virgin to Comic-Con. This is her first time. Claire Galtirio is here and you know her from Music Choice. She does a lot of interviews there. You, you're used to interviewing people. Yeah. What's it like being on the other side? It's so weird. It's so weird, so we'll see how I do, to be completely honest. I'm just used to asking the questions. When people ask me, I'm like, uh. I think you're doing pretty good so far, it's okay. a good start. Um, you're also the gluten-free gal. Yes, the gluten-free chick, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Um, I like to eat healthier. Mm -hmm. I feel actually like I do better when I don't eat gluten. How did you get on that kick? You know, my sister and my mom both have uh, celiac disease, and then my mom had us all kind of tested to make sure we didn't have it, and I had a gluten intolerance, so I just became obsessed with trying to find the best gluten-free foods around. So I literally tried everything. Usually people go on a gluten-free diet, they like lose weight. I gained weight because I was obsessed with finding everything that tasted good and didn't taste awful. You look like you, know, gained, you gained a lot, definitely. I this mean, well, this if, is, if, if this, this gluten-free diet, if this, is, <laughs> if this is how the gluten-free diet works, I think you just sold it to everybody who's watching, not by the way, not only in America, but worldwide. Everybody who's watching now is becoming gluten-free. Perfect, so then yeah. I did my job, so that's good. But um, I wanted to show people that there are places and food that actually tastes good that's gluten-free. Right, I mean, I think there are so many misconceptions about gluten-free, mm -hmm. about vegan, about all sorts of different things. Um, I'm really into all that stuff, I'm into eating healthy. I actually believe that in the future, all these meat alternatives will, and not, that's not necessarily what you're talking about, but all these meat alternatives will actually become pretty norm, mm -hmm. because they're becoming more and more popular, and guys like Bill Gates, and Warren Buffett are heavily investing into companies that create those foods because they see them as great business yeah. and great ways to make more money. But also, it really can be a great business and it can start with providing people in areas that have trouble getting food, food, healthy food, and then it can also make us healthier and it's offered in more and more places. So are gluten-free diets, which mm -hmm. I like to see. And I actually feel better and more healthy when I don't have gluten. Yeah. Um, and sometimes I'm a glutton and I have gluten. But the stuff uh, doesn't taste bad. Jealous. That's what. Uh, Some of the stuff does taste yeah. bad. I mean. Some it's, does, but but a lot of it doesn't. Yes, taste that's bad. true. Yeah. yeah. So that's I started the Gluten Free Chick web series because I wanted to show people, you know, that there are great gluten free bakeries and um, you know there's amazing restaurants that offer these great gluten free options. Um, and also, I like to hear about the stories behind the restaurants and the people that started the gluten-free thing. So I interviewed a woman the other day who has a gluten-free bakery because her daughter can't eat any gluten at all, and she wanted to have her daughter walk into a place where she can eat whatever she wanted. So it's just all these cute, very sweet, heartfelt stories that people don't really realize, and I like to bring those to the forefront. Talk about Music Choice. You're on Music Choice. Everybody knows Music Choice. It's it's the it's the almost radio station for your television. Yeah, it's the only network really that plays music videos still. So it, that's good. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, I love it. Um, we've been, I've been there for about a year now, which is crazy. We're in our second season of the show that I host. It's called U and A, where it's a weekly show. It airs on Saturdays at noon, and I um, interview a couple guests every week. And it's really fun, I just had, uh, this Saturday, Colby Calais is there, and um, we have a performance by a guy named Elijah Blake. And a lot of people know him from being a writer, he's written for Rihanna, Usher, Britney Spears, all these amazing people, and now he's kind of becoming the artist himself, so it's really cool. I love being able to see these people that aren't so known and see them you know, progressively start to do well. And you know, Be Terrific is very positive and we love that stuff too. And we also love being able to discover people or discover like things here. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, at an event like this, we find the little people who are coming up and you know, have little cool toys or little cool shirts this or hats so or whatever. This so crazy. Yeah, I is. cannot wait to walk the floor. I've, I, like you said earlier, I've never been to a Comic-Con. Well, what do you think so far? I am just really impressed by like the detail of some of these costumes that people have on. I would like, I want to ask a stranger like, how long did it take them to get ready? I mean, some people have like huge wings and masks. We, we and just had a woman on who told us she's been planning her costume for a year and it literally took her two hours to put her stuff on. It's insane. And yesterday we interviewed people who literally worked on their costumes costumes for six months. One guy was telling me about his costume and he's telling me about he had a heat uh, torch and all this other stuff and it took him six months 
every night going home after his full-time job and forming this and making it and all this stuff, it's unbelievable. It's and it, the commitment is unreal. Yeah, I totally appreciate stuff like this. I mean, yeah. I wish, I think I might be more of a comic fan after being here and experiencing it all, but um, I totally appreciate people that have such a passion for something like this. Do you have more of a, um, I, I have more respect for also the set designers and the wardrobe people and the set dressers oh, yeah. now that I've, seen this and, and the effort and the work and stuff. Oh, it's crazy. I mean, hours and hours and hours going to work for you got to check like out that. that Weta booth right there. They were on yesterday. They're amazing. They're going to come back on with a couple other people, but they do Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. And their booth, so they've got nuts. this huge fire-breathing dragon. I've never seen a booth at any show like that. I wish I was creative like that. I'm yeah. not. Uh, I don't know. I'm, right. I mean, I wish I could like come up I, I with like, artistic is, stuff. I'm I'm like that. I can't do that. But right. you're you're in this space. You're creative. When it comes to food, I'm fine. And music, but, I'm fine. But, but I can't <laughs> build anything. I yeah, mean, I can't we're using an Easy either. Up Shelter uh, to make this easy-up.com or ease.zup.com. Uh, E-ZUP.com, <laughs> there you go. Um, we're using an Easy Up Shelter because I couldn't figure out how to build truss and lighting rigs and all this, and this I was mean, just this simple. I mean, this looks cool. How cool I is think this? Is it a really good idea? I feel yeah. like I'm on a tailgate. Yeah, you know? and a, a set. In yeah, a set a that's a tailgate set. that's awesome. Yeah, a tailgate set. I like it a lot. <laughs> that could be a show, a tailgate show. <laughs> that's Ooh, are we on to like an that. idea here? Are we, I think we are. I think we are too. How'd you get hooked up with Music Choice? So I auditioned for the show last year, and mm -hmm. what they did was they um, they actually hired four hosts to each mm -hmm. do their own kind of test shoot, like their own episode. And then, because the show is socially driven, uh, socially media driven, so they had the public vote on who they wanted the next host to be, and I was chosen. Wow, yeah, that's awesome. Like that's gotta, choice. That's gotta feel pretty good. I felt very special, especially because I was the least known. You like, just it kept was hitting refresh on the voting yeah, and right. voting. No, it was all, <laughs> it's my mom. Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom, for doing that. Um, well, it was all done through Twitter, so nice. a lot of my competitors, if you were, who are also really awesome hosts, and I know them pretty well now, um, but they all had like, one guy had like 35,000 followers on Twitter, one person had 12,000, I think when I started, I had like 160, and I'm like, there's no way anybody, I'm gonna win this thing, and I did, so it was really, wow. it felt very good. Wow, congratulations, that's awesome. And how did you get into this space? How did you? Well, I started dancing as a as a young girl, and so music was always something I was obsessed with. So was with that ballet, up. jazz? Ballet, jazz, tap, hip hop, we modern. Were modern. I mean, I did it hip -hop. all. Hip hop. Oh yeah, I can bust out some moves for you if wow. you want. Wow. I, I think I'm going to make here. you do that to take us to commercial. I will, I'll do some moves for you if you're lucky. Oh. Maybe we open up the sangria. We get it done, um. guys. I need a cup. Somebody <laughs> poon. <laughs> Poon or Angela, I need a cup. All right, Joe's gonna do it. He's, he's oh in the middle of switching. Oh my God, stop! So this is this is sangria. Look at this, Senor Sangria. You're gonna look. You're a New Yorker Wait, this like is me. Amazing. You're this gonna really be looking. Is a, this really is a tailgate. You have red solo cups. This is amazing. Of course. Okay, now and I hold on. I gotta that. shake it. I forgot to shake it. It's Senor Sangria, and uh, my buddy started the company. Let's see if I can shake this a little without getting it on me since I opened it already. Is that gonna go? I feel like it's gonna go everywhere. No, no, no. It's good. It's good, you're gonna like it. It's a little warm. I'm excited. Warm, um, and uh, it's good stuff, my buddy Rick's company, Senor Sangria. We're gonna give you a bottle to take home too. We're gonna have some Great fun with this. Ever. Oh, there thank you, go. you. Are you gonna drink some too? I'll, I'll tell you what, Nobody I likes will. to drink alone. Of course not, so I guess I have to. Here. Hopefully I can do the rest of the day. I haven't Cheers. eaten yet. Cheers. Ooh, it smells really good. It's got real fruit. Oh real wow. Fruit juices. It's a homemade That's recipe, it's family really recipe. really fruity. Yeah. It's really good, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going to get you to bust a move in a few minutes. God, now the viewers I have to put my money where my mouth is. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, let me, uh, thank you, Joe. Joe is, thank look you, at Joe. him. He is, he's working the whole thing. He's, uh, Joe's you know, drinking too. The yes. technical director extraordinaire. Joe, Joe, yes. get into the shot for one second. You can't pour and not be in the shot. This is my type of show. <laughs> is there's this booze, there's tailgate, sort of. Comic Con. Comic Con. It's pretty awesome. You People should do some stuff for Be Terrific. Hair. Yeah, I'll totally do it. I think we got to get you to do that. Yeah, it's part, um, party time. I'm glad you like this. Thank I you. Love it. I love it here. Thank you for having me. So, you, okay, so jazz and tap and hip-hop. Oh, hip -hop yeah, sorry. How did we get up to this? <laughs> so I started dancing, and then I actually started teaching dance, and okay. I knew that I always wanted to entertain. I just really wasn't sure what aspect I wanted to be in in the entertainment, entertainment business. Um, and then, you know, I always was obsessed with Carson Daly growing up. I was such a TRL person. And then... Because I, you thought he was hot or what? 
No, I mean, he was cute. A lot of girls have crushes on Carson. I never he's, get that. Now that he's, he's slimmed totally, down. He's totally cute. But I would—I never looked at him. I was like, oh, Matt, he's so dreamy. I was just yeah. like, wow, he's so cool. He gets to talk to, you know, artists and famous people. And he never seemed, he seemed always like their friend. He right. never seemed like a very tight, you know. Yeah, he's definitely a cool suit. dude. Yeah, yeah so cool. Is, yeah. Um, and so it was always something I just wanted to do. And then when I graduated college, I really started to go and get into it and take it seriously. And I hosted a show called Empire City's Lucky Break, which is a singing competition. I did that for two seasons. And whenever that wrapped, I auditioned for Music Choice. And now wow. I'm here. And I love Drinking Music Choice. Drinking on Friday during there the day. There you go. Yeah. I, uh, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. That's true. I, um, I love Music Choice, though, by the way. Seriously. And I watch the show. Oh, thanks um, for watching. And I do love it. I have it on all the time. Um, you know, it's great. So I've always been a fan of Music Choice. I don't know why there's not a competitor. Uh, not that you want Maybe. one. I'm just saying. It makes no sense. I, I know. It, everybody I know uses Music well, Choice. Well, it's just, it's interesting because a lot of people don't think that there's a need for music videos to be on a yeah. channel because they get them so easily online. Yeah. But people do love, everyone I talk to is like, oh, I listen to Music Choice all day long. It's always on. It's true. You know, it's, it's 24 hours nonstop. And music. everybody always says, MTV doesn't have music videos anymore. What's going on? Yeah, you know, they're, they're doing, I mean, it's MTV. Everyone loves MTV. Of so course, I can't I'm not talk, knocking it. I'm I just can't saying. talk smack. But, you know, no. they have awesome reality shows, and that's right. what works for them. And right, so, but they came up as, you know, oh, music yeah. television and running Video music killed videos. Video the radio star. Exactly. Yeah. And, and so people still want that and mm -hmm. long for it. Mm -hmm. All right. Listen, here's the deal. Oh God. We're going to go to commercial. I I'm going to make you this. I got to get somebody to take your microphone off. In the meantime, I'm going to I'm going to give you some stuff. We're going to have a bottle of sangria for you to walk away with. So that's right I here. I got presents. Señor Sangria. This is my new Senor favorite. SeñorSangria.com. This is really good. And we've got an Electro Kid from Wowie for you. Now, this is oh cool. God, You're going to love this. I love this. this. <laughs> oh, is that what those little guys are? Wowie's so awesome. Cute. It's an Electro Kid and watch this. As you talk or play music, it will move its hair. There are different patterns and ways to do it, and you can collect yes. a lot of them. You can put it on your desk, and you're having a bad day. It gets this, super inspirational. I'm going to put this in my dressing room. I'm really excited. Exactly. And then put the music choice on. It's going to be a nonstop hair party. Nonstop hair party. All right. So somebody's going to come take your microphone off. While we do that, we're going to try and do this slickly, and okay. I am going to try and uh, talk. We'll take the, the, the gifts from you and give them oh, back Jesus. to you. And I'm going to try and keep everybody entertained, and then we're going to have you bust a move. How's okay, that it's going to be really quick. All right, really quick. Do you, is there some music you'd like? Yeah, if you want to play music, you don't have to, though. All right, if we can play a little bit of music, five, just six, give you... Seven, all right, all right, that's what we'll do. All right, so are you ready? All right, here we go. Let's get a wide shot up there. All right, Joe's going to give me the cue that he's ready. Are you excited for this? I'm a nervous. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Look, if, you, if you're nervous, just have a little more sangria first. All right, you ready? She said it's very, very good. You ready to do this, Joe? We're ready to do it. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. Wow, look okay, at that. We'll be back with more live from Comic-Con.